size, a pocket size mini vessel with a two speed gearbox, ball bearing and even oil shocks, they exist. Stay tuned! <laughs> So guys, in today's video we've got a new product from FMS to look at, and this time they made us a Chevrolet Colorado. As we all know, when FMS makes something, it's going to be good. But is that the same story for this one? Because this is a complete new platform, so this is like a mini basher. Well, let's find out. Let me get everything out of the box so I can show you what's inside there. Inside the box you will find the car, the transmitter, some instructions, a tool, some tensioners for the springs, a charger and we've got a 900mm 2S LiPo battery. But let's have a closer look at the transmitter first. This is the transmitter and it runs on 4 AAAs which you need to supply of your own. So it's capable of one-hand driving, we've got a foam wheel and the build quality is just superb. And therefore I really like those transmitters. So this is the 3 channel version. And the third channel right over there is for the 2 speed gearbox inside there. We've got on off switch, some trim buttons, the bind button and the reverse button and that's all to say about it. So let's have a closer look at the car now. And here is the car guys, what do you think of it? Well appearance wise this looks like a normal Besser car but only shrunken into a pocket sized one. I really like this so far. So the body styling is, is in Chevrolet Colorado and this body is licensed and you can see the bed sitting right over there. And this thing, the body style, I really like it. So you have got three different color options and I chose the blue one but you also have got a black one and a white with orange one. I will put the link down below so you can check those out for yourself. So in the front of the car you will find a plastic front bumper which is made from a very flexible material and that's always a good thing. And that's the same story with all the arms right over there. And the benefit of a flexible material instead of the stiff one, the stiff plastic normally breaks when you're having an impact but the flexible one just flexes a little bit and then yeah it will, it will survive the crash and that's always a good thing. So we've got oil suspension throughout in this car and just look at how this thing absorbs it. This thing looks very very nice so far. So we've got ball bearings throughout in this car. We've got some metal drive shafts sitting right over there. And just look at the double wishbone suspension in the front and in the rear. And look at this guys, we even got a wheelie bar inside of there. Yeah, this car really looks epic. So let me show you how to get the body off. To remove the body you will find two tiny clips sitting right over there. So you have to press those clips inwards and then you can lift the rear section up like this. Just slide it forward and your body will come off. And just look at this guys, this is just like a normal car but only shrunken into a pocket sized one and I really like that. So underneath the body you will find all the magic. So in the front of the car you will find two servos. So one servo is for the steering and the other one is for the two speed gearbox which is right over there. And this gearbox looks like the same thing as the FGX24 and these are actually pretty good. So inside here I think we've got some yeah, some normal plastic gears but if I'm wrong I will put it in the screen right now. So we've got metal drive shafts running through, uh, throughout the car, we've got metal drive shafts in the rear, ball bearing throughout, we've got open differentials as you can see and this is your 370 brushed motor, the 2 in 1 receiver ESC combination and the on off switch. So the build quality, the it, yeah, this thing really feels very very sturdy and I really like that. So the chassis is very rigid and the arms are very flexible so let me show you that so here you can see that the arms are pretty flexible and that's always a good thing so yeah i really like this car so far but let me throw in some batteries and show you when it's on The car is powered on and here's the steering servo. So the steering servo is kind of slow in my opinion. But we've got plenty of power as you can see. So it's now currently in the low speed. So this is the wheel speed. And that looks pretty decent. And this is in the high speed. Whoa that looks, whoa, that looks pretty fast for a tiny car like this. Let's throttle up. Whoa. <laughs> Wow, that looks awesome man. So yeah, for now there's only one thing left to do and that's take this outside for a spin. So guys, we're outside and the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to see how fast this car is. So I put it into the high speed mode and yeah, let's see how fast it is. Let's go. Whoa, this is more fast than I thought. Let's try that again. So 
So guys, I gave it a couple of runs, so let us see what the speed is. So we hit uh, 26 kilometers an hour. So I'm pretty impressed by that. So let me show you how this car drives. This car drives so nice, I totally didn't expect it to be that good. I was, yeah, of course expecting a little bit of FMS because FMS is a very good company and I really like their products. But yeah, I am totally impressed by this little car. So we've got plenty of power, we've got a good speed inside this little car. And yeah, just look at it go onto the gravel, no problems here. Full throttle, hoppake, yeah, I really like this little car. So let's take it onto the grass and see how it performs when it's onto a little bit higher grass. But yeah, until now on the gravel, this thing is a real blast to drive. Here, easy throttle control, only the brakes are a bit, yeah. So let's come to the camera and full brake. Yeah, you see that? So the brakes isn't, yeah, aren't really there. But yeah, the overall driving, the steering, the motor power, everything is all fine until now. Yeah, let's, uh, let's take it onto the grass. And here it goes, without any problem, full speed. See, we've got plenty of power. I'm so totally impressed by this little car. Just look at it go. Even the grass is like twice as high as the car itself. And it just plows on. Oh, tumble wumble, recovered it. Here it goes. Yes, this thing is a real ripper, man. I totally didn't expect it to be this good. Yeah, I'm not sure why. But yeah, the brakes aren't really there inside this car and that's a bit strange in my opinion. So brake brakes and yeah, the grass will break it of course, but onto the gravel there are almost no brakes. Yeah, and that's a bit of a downside, but overall this car is a real ripper and I'm totally impressed by it. So let me give you some driving footage and then I will come back to you with my final thoughts about this car. <laughs> So guys, that was the driving with the FMS, the FMT24. And what do I think of it? Well, appearance-wise, I really do like this car. So we've got a licensed Cervale, uh, Cervale Colorado body on there, and I really like that. So this is the blue one. There's also a black one and a white with orange one. So I'll put the link down below so you can check those out for yourself. What I really do like about this body is that we have got a clipless body system on there. So that's just great. So performance-wise, yeah, this car just totally surprised me. Of course, you know, FMS uh, makes very nice products, and almost everything they make is high quality and but i totally didn't expect this car to be that good so we hit the 26 kilometers an hour and that's a pretty decent speed for a car of 124 uh, scale size so yeah that's great you know we've got oil sharks ball bearing inside there uh, yeah this car is just amazing in my opinion so oh yeah we have got a two-speed gearbox but i drove it only in the high gear and of course you've got a low gear but yeah yeah i'm not so sure that this car needs a low gear but it is what it is is. So is there anything negative to say about this car? Well the steering servo is a bit slow and yeah that's everything I can say negative about this car. I am just totally surprised about it by this car and I really like this car. So if you're looking for a small basher you know just to bring with you in your backpack for example I think that that's the one to get. Alright guys that was it for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you got any questions or suggestions leave a comment below and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you.